So we have our first problem. From the total strength of the class, if the number of boys in the class is 7 and the number of girls in the class is 4, then find the ratio between girls and boys. Choose the letter that corresponds to your answer and feel free to pause the video. Since we are asked to find the ratio between the number of boys and girls in the class, so ibig sabihin po nito, the correct answer is letter A. It's 4 over 7. Yung ratio po kasi can also be written as a fractional form or it can be written as this one. Okay, so that's quite pretty simple. So now let's proceed with our next problem. Suppose two numbers are in the ratio of 2 is to 3. If the sum of two numbers is 75, find the numbers. Is it 40 and 35, 30 and 45, 25 and 50, or 31 and 44? So binigay po sa atin yung condition dito sa tanong na yung dalawang numbers are in the ratio of 2 is to 3. At kung kunin daw natin yung sum, or in short, if i-add natin yung dalawang numbers na yon, ang kanilang sum is 75. But obviously, lahat naman po ng ating mga choices, kapag kunin natin ang sum ng dalawang numbers, 75. But the question is, alin ba talaga sa kanila yung tamang sagot? Now, let's assume na yung first number natin is 2x. And our second number is 3x. At kapag kunin natin ang sum ng dalawang numbers na ito, which is 75, therefore we have 2x plus 3x, and that is equal to 75. Again, keep in mind na kapag kayo po ay nagre-review, mapa-review center, self-review, or online review, never memorize the given problem. Sapagat hindi po talaga lalabas yan sa actual na examination, Kasi hindi naman natin mahuhulaan kung ano yung content ng actual na examination. Ang tandaan nyo po or i-familiarize is yung process kung paano natin sinagutan or sinolve yung mga problems. So, I hope that's clear. So now, let's go back sa ating problem. Sa nakikita po natin, meron na po tayong algebraic equation. Ang gagawin na lamang po natin is to solve for the value of x. So, 2x plus 3x, and that is equal to 5x, equal to 75. Now, let's divide 5, both sides. So, divided by 5, divided by 5. So, our x is equal to 15, since 75 divided by 5 is 15. And as we all know, our first number is 2x, and our second number is 3x. Therefore, we have to substitute the value of x dito sa dalawang numbers na ito. So, our first number is 2 times 15 and our second number is 3 times 15. Therefore, our first and second number is 30 and 45 respectively. So, the correct answer is letter B. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. And now, let's proceed with our third problem. 40% and 60% are two numbers, respectively, more than a third number. Find the ratios of two numbers. Okay, so feel free to pause the video and try to answer this problem in your scratch paper. And based po sa ating question, meron tayong idea na yung first and second number pala are 40% and 60% na mas lamang or mas mataas sila ng 40% and 60% respectively kaysa kay third number. Pero dito, sa nakikita natin, wala tayong idea kung uh, ano yung third number natin. So, let's assume na yung third number is X. Tandaan nyo po na kapag tayo po ay nagsosolve ng any percentage related problems, ang baseline po talaga natin is 100%. Now, kung yung third number natin is 100%, since hindi naman natin alam kung anong number yan, walang specific na number. So kung 100% yung x, since na mas lamang si first number ng 40%, therefore, this is 140x over 100. Now, kung 140x over 100 yung first number natin, 
alam naman natin na yung second number mas lamang din siya ng 60% kaysa kay third number. Now, this is 160x over 100. So now, let's just simplify this one. And as what we can see, pariho naman po silang divisible by 20. 140 can be divided by 20 and at the same time, 100 can be divided by 20. So now, 140 divided by 20 and that is equal to 7. Pero may x pa. So isalin na natin si x. Hindi talaga mawala-wala si x sa buhay natin, ano? So dito naman, so 100 divided by 20 and that is equal to 5. So ang simplified form ng 140x over 100 is just 7x over 5. Now, dito naman sa second number, 160 can be divided by 20, and at the same time, 100 can be divided by 20. So, 160 divided by 20, and that is equal to 8. Then, my x pa, so 8x. 100 divided by 20, and that is equal to 5. Therefore, 8x over 5 is our simplest form for 160x over 100. So, ang gagawin naman po natin ngayon is to equate these two numbers. So, now we have 7x over 5 equal to 8x over 5. Again, nabanggit ko po kanina na ang isang ratio ay pwedeng isulat into a fractional form. Now, ang gagawin naman po natin ngayon Kapag nakakita kayo ha, ng ganitong klasing mukha, isang fraction, tapos may equal na sign, tapos another fraction, ang gagawin nyo lang po is to cross multiply. So ngayon, baka may nako-confuse kung ano ba yung cross multiply. From the word itself, cross. So it's form like a cross. So multiply natin ito, multiply din po natin ito. So parang cross or parang butterfly, but never mind. By the way, kahit hindi na po natin i-cross multiply, nakikita na po natin yung sagot, which is 7 and 8, or 7 is to 8, which is letter A. But please be reminded po ha, na hindi po ito applicable sa lahat ng problems. Meron pong mga instances na kailangan talaga nating i-cross multiply to get the right answer. But now, let's continue with the process of cross multiplication para makita din po natin kung ano nga ba yung result. So, we have 7x times 5, and that is 35x. 8x times 5, and that is 40x. So, now we have 35x is to 40x. So, kumbaga, ang gagawin po natin ngayon is to simplify 35x and 40x. As we all know, 35 and 40 can both be divided by 5. 35 divided by 5. And that is equal to 7. 40 divided by 5. And that is equal to 8. Therefore, 7 is to 8. So, kumbaga, yung simplified pala nito, dito natin ilalagay sa kabila. Now, sa ratio and proportion po, meron tayong tinatawag na means and extremes. So, ito po yung means, yung inner or nasa looban. And ito naman yung extremes or outer. Tapos kapag i-multiply daw natin si means and extremes, they must be equal. At kapag nag-equal sila, then the ratio and proportion is correct. Kumbaga tama yung sagot. Okay, so let's try. So 40 times 7 and that is 280. 35 times 8 and that is also 280. Therefore, this ratio and proportion is correct. So, the answer is letter A. In our next video, ay papakita ko po yung mga tips and tricks kung paano nga ba isolve yung mga ratio and proportion related problems ng mabilisan para at least pagdating po sa actual na examination ay mababawasan po yung oras ninyo sa pag-solve or pag-sagot ng mga problems. But before we end this video, let me test yourself so that we can see kung may improvement nga ba sa inyong mga sarili. Okay? So just try to answer this in your scratch paper.